Jason here with ABS Supply. In our last video, you saw we did a blast test with the ferro flow and a number four nozzle. So this is our follow-up. I want to see what's going to happen with our pressure again gauges, specifically differential pressure from the pusher line to the inlet. When we use a number five sixteenths nozzle, which I put in here, and a number three eighths or a number six nozzle here. So we're going to test these two quick, look for differential pressure, and see what we get. Stick with. At the end, we'll have the results for you. Jason Johns, back with our test results from the ferrule flow in the number five and six nozzles. So here's what we learned. As you saw from the video earlier, the four was a home run. The five, virtually the same results. We had zero pressure differential between the inlet valve and the pusher line down at the bottom of the pot. When we got to the six, we saw our first pressure loss. It was three PSI difference between the inlet and the pusher line. That means the ferrule flow is getting maxed out at the volume that could flow through it. Hence, we would have more pressure in our pot than our line, and we would sandblast our grid valve. Three PSI, I can probably live with that because of the increased production of the 25%, because of the better pattern created by the ferrule flow. That's not significant. Now, as we get up into larger nozzles, number seven and eight, I have some other friends of mine who have documented pressure losses with number eight nozzles at 10 PSI. That is significant. You do not want to run your blast pot at 10 PSI. That is like choking your pot. That will cause you, the blaster, to buy a whole lot of extra microvalves, Thompson valves, from people like me. I would not recommend it, would not outweigh the benefits of it. But for my test results, as you saw with the pressure, it is definitely going to be a benefit to run the ferro flow with the number four, a number five, and even a number six nozzle. As you'll see some of the final results, our pressure did drop at the end at the tip a little bit, and that's just because we're limited by the compressor size that we have here for our test today. I have a 210 Kaser compressor running a number six nozzle with our air dryer, hoods, and everything else that we have. We're just maxed out on air. We're trying to use more air than we have. So you saw the pressure drop below 100, but not uncommon for many of you blasters out there. So I feel this is a pretty real world test because all of us push our equipment to the max limits as much as we can get out of it in order to get the job done. Well, I had a blast today and I hope you guys did too watching. Thanks for showing up. Jason with ABS Supply.